hi welcome back this is the second model or the third episode of this new exercise series for SOLIDWORKS beginners if you're new here you're gonna have to go back and watch it from the first episode where I explain how these series are going down and why am I putting two videos per object on my channel so in this episode I am going to model the cover that you are seeing this is a cover of my teleprompter that I'm looking at and it doesn't have any script currently on it but it's connected to my camera the cover has a very odd geometry it looks simple but it's a little bit tricky you have some curves here you have some angled walls here so you have some concave shape down here I'm gonna do the edited version in this episode and in the next episode following this one I will uh, show you the uncut version. All right, hit the subscribe button right now and let's get started. First of all, I would try to look at this as I am doing right now from different angles. I see this is like an edge that goes all the way here. I'm trying to draw this and maybe extrude it all the way to the back and I'm trying to see if it's flat. If all these three levels one two and three are flat we could do that we could just uh, draw something and just extrude it all the way back and then cut and trim it from above but um, we're gonna have to do some trimming at the end over here because you can see it's chamfered so let's do that okay cool i i don't want to do any measurements yet i just want to um start drawing First of all, lock the view, zoom in. When I say lock the view, it's because I'm working with my uh, enterprise. That's why I lock the view. So we wanna go for something symmetrical. Always put your sketch on the center. So you go flat, you go up, and we're gonna end it right about here, okay? Now we're gonna draw a center line all the way up, vertical. And if you don't have your center line here, you can find it here. Just remember this for the future, please. Mirror entities. Uh, I'm going to the sketch tab, use mirror entities. And I'm going to mirror it about this center line and done. So this is my symmetric sketch. I can do some measurements. First of all, we don't need the thickness just yet. It's even though it's 15 millimeters. Again, as always, you get all the dimensions bottom right corner of the screen depth of my extrusion which is 15.11 we need the thickness before we can extrude this it's 12 all right and we go to offset entity set it to 12 select my sketch and leave it at that done however it's an open sketch so we're going to use a line to close it first of all now we can do some measurements 36 77 so we have smart dimension here first of all we have 36 we have 77 my bad let me just quickly fix my overall drafting standard to n size so you can see the real values okay now um my sketch is a little bit messed up because it's not fully defined so let's take care of that quickly i'm going to select the midpoint here hold Control key and select the origin and make them go coincident. That helps a lot. Now we need to either measure the horizontal distance for these chamfered edges or the total length. Let's just go for the total. Okay, 156.4. I'm just gonna round it up to 156. 156. I'm gonna pick a line, close this area. Go to trim entities. In the previous video, I told you I would like to check this box so I don't get rid of what I have drawn. Otherwise, uh, I will end up getting errors, but I did it anyway. So let's just delete some sketch relations to get rid of this. Okay, it's good enough. We draw this but the height should be four from this point to this point and that's the issue so let's delete wherever we can delete don't rotate it thank you very much 
or I keep normal to like the view 12 four nice on 36 okay so this is the first sketch that we want to do the other sketch is set at 156 if, if i'm not mistaken no 15 150 so we need a new plane at 150 then we draw the same sketch on it. No, I'm joking. We're not drawing the same sketch on it. Uh, do I have a space here? Yep. Normal two. We have kind of the same sketch, kind of, but it's um, a little bit bigger, right? Vertical, and we said 215. So center line, mirror. Oh, I chose the wrong sketch. Two, 215. It should be less than 36 because it. Okay, so I'll just put 30 and let's leave it at that. However, mm, again, I'm going to put this point on this line together, coincident, because I want them to be at the same height. Uh, again, I'm going to set these two to four. For some reason, it doesn't allow me. Uh, let's see why it doesn't allow me. This should be horizontal. Coincident, I don't need it. Why this point is coincident? Four. I'm going to make these two equals because I don't want to measure it again. These are the cham. Oh, looking really bad, guys. Looking really bad. So just set the same dimension. It's 0.5. Oh, sorry. 0.5. Just 5. Yes. Click OK. Hide this sketch plane. And now, thickness of 1.5, I said. So I offset the entity 1.5. Leave it like that. You know what I'm doing? I'm trying to create two different sketches so I can loft them together. And then. I can shell them out. Right. Now let's see how it looks like if I love them. Something like this. All right, already not too bad. Looking at it from the top, again, activating the sketch. It was uh, 42, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Actually, let's just do it at once. Uh, I'm gonna draw a line from the center, create the nose, and then create this chamfer, okay? So, nose, chamfer 
finish we don't have to do the other side because we're gonna mirror this so we don't do it twice select all click on mirror entities now um i think from this one to this one should be four 4.2 or four just right and then wrong point this should go down this should nope this should be four right then this is the chamfer that i'm gonna leave here with my naked eye at just put it at 10 right okay this changes a little bit still so let's change this angle to 50. Now it's fully fine and we can go to features, extrude the cut, select all the areas, every area you need. Right. Kind of. Now. Since this chamfer should be at 13, uh, I'm gonna roll this up, try if I can do chamfer at 13 because um, the thickness is four. So how can I do a chamfer of 13? It's not possible. For that, I'm gonna have to temporarily increase the thickness of this. We have four. Let's just offset this plane for another so you get reach 14 so when I choose 13 for this one it works then roll this back down kind of ruin the whole thing I just fix the sketch this point is gone we don't need you to be coincident why are you coincident then be coincident please you still have a reference point. Nice. And click OK. However, the issue should still be there because we have one more thing to do. Get rid of these two. Oh, I said get rid of these two. Or actually, you know what? Select them from the beginning. This area and this area. Click OK. All right. OK. All right. And 13 seems to be too much again. Was it 12? 12 is better. 10. Because when I look at it here, the chamfer goes slightly over this overbore of a shoulder. Or maybe I measured this wrong. So let's just fix either though. So let's just fix either of these two. Maybe change this one from 4 to 5. Right. And now, since we want to have a wall thickness of 1.5, we use shell, set it at 1.5, select this, 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 and this. Click OK. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's shell all the faces around. All around. See what we get? We get this. Okay. So this is the top surface of this component that we just had the shoulders are not looking so good because this should be probably bigger but this is not that accurate so it's fine okay now one more important thing before we finish off look it looks so simple but see how tricky it can get we have a wall with a wall thickness of, with a thickness of 2.1 millimeters that goes, um, that is six millimeters high and it goes all around it, normal to the plane because here it's perpendicular. And if you look at this angle, you see over here, you don't see it really good at this angle, this wall is perpendicular to this plane. 
so it's not flat it's actually going in so you can grab onto this over here the wall is going inside it's bent inward i don't know if you can see it but it's normal to this plane here not to this plane so we have to find a way to fix this i said two millimeter wall six millimeter high going all around this well i can think of 3d sketches i'm gonna try something for the for my curiosity first and you could just watch but it's definitely not something for you guys as beginners but it would be working with 3d sketches I already don't like this approach. I already don't like it. I just turn that 3D line into a 3D sketch. Now let's. Oh, this is it. Okay, this is it. It's a wall with the height of six i'm sorry we have um what do we have here it's including this so 1.5 so it's 3.5 3.5 oh sorry that would be five um 4.5 4.5 this will be our profile that we're gonna sweep and it's gonna be a surface sweep or actually let's see if I select this profile and no, it's going to be a surface sweep. Yeah, it kind of worked. Nice. Now we have the wall without the thickness. Now we are going to have to add the thickness of two to this wall all the way on the inside and click OK. It Looking at this, it's not that accurate. This wouldn't change too much. So let's measure this area. This should be 95. If I go back and edit this, I'm going to probably destroy a good amount of work. Instead of adding 30 here, I'm gonna add 95 here. Right, look at this. Um, obviously, I didn't add this, but at this point, you know what to do. It's just an extrude cut that creates this. And we have the inner side. Let's take a, take a look at the inside. It's more or less like that. Obviously, the dimensions are not accurate. This chamfer, I still don't like it. Um, maybe it's too big. Maybe I can do a different way, different, take a different approach to create this chamfer. You know, there is a way to bend this. Um, let's destroy this one. Let's just call this done. And for the sake of R&D, I'm gonna get rid of this, create a shorter version of this immediately. I really don't care about the dimensions at this point. I just want to try a theory, see if that works out. Um, mirror. Oh, no. Okay, now it's flat. Now I want to see if I can bend this as it is using flex mm -hmm. no, not you but you which is zero degrees and then move this one here Let's see if I can bend it now. 
it's the worst way to do this, but I'm doing my best. Is it bent? Certainly not bent. What happened? Maybe because trim planes are reversed. I'll just do it like that. Oh, too much. But yeah, it does bend it. It's the least controlled way of doing this. But that would have been another way of approaching this design. Look. Just used flex. Doesn't look that bad. The dimensions are definitely off. We just, just chopped it off. But... I was just for my curiosity. Don't do this like that. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this video at this point. Oh, definitely not an... Uh, a tricky one it was a tricky one all right folks now that you saw how i modeled this cover on solarworks i'm gonna upload the next episode soon where you can see the actual process of modeling it from scratch using my calipers measuring every dimension and trying to find a way uh, to model it in solarworks for the very first time for myself and i'm gonna walk you through my mindset what i actually think and how i would actually approach solving those challenges it's gonna be very interesting so subscribe don't forget to watch the next episode as well and i'll see you soon